are currently T11. How does it feel to just contend and, and play well in your first start? It, it was fun for sure. I mean, especially doing it on my home course. Um, it was an unbelievable experience. and. I'm excited to come back next week and uh, and do the same. Yeah, so how often do you play this course? If you said it's your home course, how often uh, do you play out here? I say I play this like every day almost. Like our family's members here, so just whenever I get the chance, I come out here and play. Any Monday qualified in this week? I did Monday qualified. All right, so how many Mondays have you done? Is this your first one? What was the decision uh, like? I've done play? it four years in a row in Utah, and first, first time making it through. I've done, I think, two outside of Utah and haven't made it through, so it was pretty special. To uh, make it through my home course and just get time to play ball. And how old are you? Like you're in college still? Uh, yeah, I'm 20 and play for BYU and then um, going into my junior year. Going into your junior year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, coming out here and playing next to these guys who have been on the PGA Tour, working for the PGA Tour, and you playing that well against them. What does that kind of do for like your mentality going into next season? It just gives me confidence. I think. Um, it just seems like I can play with the best. I feel like and. I'll be able to contend with these guys, and um, yeah, it just brings my confidence up. Is your dream to play in the PGA Tour? What do yeah. your goals look like? I feel like that's always been my dream, and just one of my goals I think, to strive for every day. Obviously, T11 is great, but how would you personally assess your play this week? Um, first two days, I played really well. I played really solid. Um, today, I kind of got away from me on the back nine, had three straight bogeys, and which kind of hurt, but kind of climbed back and finished with two strong birdies in the last four holes and um, was able to finish strong. Yeah, unfortunately, no points or money from this. Do you think about that, like what you could be making if you no, were a pro? No, not right now. Okay. I mean, I'm just just happy to be here. And you obviously have family, friends around watching. What does it mean to have them here watching you do this? It's awesome. I mean, I love that I have all the support in the world, and it just means so much to have all these friends and family come out and watch me. Will any of them go with you to Omaha next week? Um, I think my parents might, yeah. My parents should come, so, yeah, I'm excited for them to be there again. Tyson, you're no stranger to a trophy, most recently and notably the Pat Coast Am, for heaven's sakes. What do you learn about yourself from something like this? Uh, I think, like I said earlier, uh, just that I can contend with all the best players in the world, and um, I can contend with anyone, I guess. And um, I've learned a lot about my game this past couple weeks, and um, I'm really confident moving forward. How would you describe what the last three weeks have been like winning the Pacific Coast Amateur and then this for you? <laughs> I mean, it's just an awesome feeling for me because I feel like I'm on basically cloud nine because I've been playing really well. Like, I feel like I haven't um, had many mistakes a lot. So, yeah, just just really awesome feeling. What would you learn about your game? What would you learn about the Corn Ferry Tour, which you're going to need in a couple years? Just you gotta you gotta hit the fairways, you know. You gotta hit fairways. You gotta hit greens. I feel like those are the two most important things in golf, and especially you can learn it. You learn out here. Like, Brock Bank and Miller would tell you that anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, exactly. So. With all the support out here, where would you kind of rate this week uh, compared to your other rounds? Bill? Um, I'd I'd say this is probably. I mean, this is the most support I've ever had on in a golf tournament or any round. So I, I really enjoyed kind of having the support around me, and it's probably been one of my favorite weeks of golf. Do you know how many people came out to watch you this week? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I looked behind, and there were a lot of people there, but I couldn't. I wasn't counting. I just knew there were a lot. What were your expectations coming into the week? Obviously, being an amateur, Monday qualifying, what were you hoping to get out of the weekend? Did you get that? Yeah, I was, I mean, coming into the week, I was wanting to first off make the cut. You know, that's probably one of my biggest goals, and especially because I know this course really well. And so my biggest goal is to make the cut, and then just made the cut by quite a bit. And then I was like, okay, let's make a new goal. I'll try and make top 10. And fell short of that just barely, but we'll come back next week. How was it playing with Carson the first couple of days? It was great. I mean, me and Carson have played two years together, and it was just felt really comfortable playing with him. It was pretty good. And now he made the cut, so he gets to kind of skip the pre queue. Yeah. Um, any words of like encouragement or like congrats to him for yeah. how he's played? Yeah, stoked for him. I mean, I'm super excited for what he uh, brings. I know he has a lot of a lot of potential, so I'm really excited for him. What would you say your goal is for the rest of the season? Um, just keep doing what I'm doing, honestly. And I feel like going into the college season, I'm really I have a lot of goals for college season and. Um, just keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll, I'll, I'll achieve them pretty well. So. 
Oak Ridge is imprinted on your brain. Have you seen the course over in Omaha? I haven't. No, I have not. <laughs> I haven't looked at that course yet. So um, probably go home, look at it a couple times, and get ready for that. You're having a lot new this year, Big 12, the Omaha, everything. Uh, tell me about your thoughts going into this fall season with the Cougars. Yeah, I'm just super excited. I mean, there's a lot of new things that are coming, and um, I feel like we're going to bring greatness, and I'm um, just super excited. Did you have a favorite uh, player on the PGA Tour growing up? Um, honestly, I feel like my favorite player on the PGA Tour is Tony Fino, just because he's a local, and I mean, I've played with him a couple times, so he's probably my favorite player on the PGA Tour. Has Tony given you any advice? Uh, I mean, when I play with him, he's always just been one of my mentors, and he's he's kind of guided me through the courses and just kind of talked me through his thought processes, which has really helped me when I'm in my own situation, in that same situation. But, yeah, he's he's helped me a lot for sure. Does Tony say hit fairways too? <laughs> I feel like everyone would say hit fairways. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, thank All right, you, Tyson. Congratulations. So well played. Thank you. Appreciate it.